Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at issue four of Warhammer 40,000 Imperium Magazine. The collection's really starting to grow now. We've got issue four. This is gonna take us up to 12 miniatures all together. There's gonna be four included here and a pot of paint as well. But in this video, we're gonna go through everything that you get in this issue. I'll get the miniatures built and then you can see them all put together and alongside the others from the collection. And then we'll go through the magazine itself so you see exactly what's included. And then hopefully this will give you a good idea as to whether or not this subscription and the magazine is something that you'd like to add to your collection. All right, let's get this open and we'll take a look. It's pretty noisy, so I'll just get this out as quick as I can. And then we'll have a look at the contents. So that's that taken care of. So we've got our one sprue, and then we've got four bases. And these are quite big, these ones here. We'll measure them so you get an idea of the size in a second. And you get this little one as well. We get a pot of lead belcher paint. You can never have too much of that. We've got the magazine itself. And in the back, it looks like we've got quite a large game mat to play on as well. So we'll have a close look at that in a second. So let's have a look at the sprue first, just so you can see it all on, on there. We'll measure up the bases and then we'll have a look through the magazine and get this open so you can see what that looks like too. So here's our sprue up close and we can see we've got some pretty interesting parts, some nice weapons in there, pretty big as well. These blades are pretty large. So these are gonna be some decent sized models for sure. And there we go. So lots of nice details as we would expect. I'm liking the backs how they get these bits protruding, that looks really cool. I was never really interested in the Necrons, um, but luckily my son likes them, and I like the Space Marines, so we're gonna take one army each and we build it together, and then we're gonna grow some armies and do battle, so it's gonna be great fun. But there we go, so that's the sprue. Then we've got three of these bases, and the size for these is gonna be 50 mil, so there's the large one there, and then we get this smaller one, which is gonna be 28 mil. And there's a little pot of base lead belcher. And it's just a regular size, so it's not smaller than the normal one. It's a 12 mil pot. So there we go. So that's exactly what you'd buy if you paid the full price. Now let's have a look at issue four, the magazine itself. And it tells us we're going to get four miniatures in the issue and the paint, which we've seen. We're going to get score pick destroyers, the lead belcher, and a biggest battle that we've yet to fight. So now with 12 miniatures, we can really get some action going on on the battlefield. So that's gonna be awesome. But let's start having a little flick through. And as always, it's broken down into these different sections of playing, um, law, building, assembling, and painting, and all that kind of thing. And it starts off just giving you a little background and idea about what these are all about. I really like this, this first part that they're putting in the magazine, where it links to the different weapons the different parts of the models and it gives you a little history tells you what they do tells you all about them and i think this is really fun to read and a great way to learn it just a little bit at a time each week is really awesome and then we've got our battle record so we can keep track of how all the different models do in the battle and then the law continues as we work our way through it's all numbered as well so you can reference it all in your folders that you get with the subscription too and so we're going to learn about that learn about the warp so this is a brilliant way to learn it all Fantastic. A lot of this is taken, I think most of it probably taken from the main ninth edition book as well. So if you've got that already, you're probably very familiar with this. Then it tells you how to build and the instructions couldn't be clearer. I think they're fantastic for both building and painting in this subscription. And so it shows us how we're going to put that together. And then the how to paint. So now we're starting to paint these guys. We've got our Rune Lord brass base paint that was already included in one of the previous issues so we can use that now and get these guys based and then do all the metal work and now with the lead belcher we can do all the weapons as well so that's going to be like the first stages of painting and again as more issues come out you start going into the next stage of the paintwork so using these two paints the lead belcher and that rune lord brass you can get all the miniatures that have been included up to issue four and including issue four all painted and ready to go. And then we've got our how to paint assault intercessors and Primaris Lieutenant as well. So now we can add the lead belcher to the blue that already came with it. And now we've got a little playthrough and it's not so little actually, we're gonna be quite big. So we've got this big map that was included, which we'll have a look at in a second. And so now we can really start spreading out and getting more miniatures on the battlefield. So this is great. 
And here, I guess this is where we can add our terrain, which is going to come in some of the next issues, I believe. So we'll be getting some of these terrain bits that we can actually add some 3D terrain to. So these are really fun. We've got all our data sheets there. This is nice how they've put it all on this one page. So that's going to make things really quick and easy for reference. And then it talks you through how to play it out. And so there we are. So it takes you through all the different stages and you're building up, learning the rules as you go as well. So that's everything that we get included in this issue four. And it tells us on the back, issue five and six, what we're gonna get. And these are two amazing issues. This Primaris Captain is unique to the Imperium subscription and these aggressors are fantastic. And if you subscribe, like I have, then you already have these with issues three and four. So I got issue three, four, five and six delivered in one go. So I'll be doing videos for these really soon and, and get them up to date. Uh, what it does mean though is that these will be released before you get your subscription. So um, three, four, five and six builds up and then once six is released, your issue or your four issues, sorry, will be delivered to you. So you're always gonna be a little bit behind with a subscription, but I think it's great fun getting it delivered for sure. Um, getting those four at a time as well is brilliant. And you get all the bonus goodies as well that come with it with Hatchet Partworks. But you can, of course, just buy one single issue at a time. This one sold out really fast. A lot of people buy them, sell them on eBay. I imagine this one sold out really quick as well because it's some great value. But the Scorpec Destroyers, they're, they're not cheap. They're pretty expensive. So they're over 30 pounds with Games Workshop. And even at Element Games with a discount, they're around £24. So for £8.99, to get this set, I think it's fantastic value. And you get the lead belcher as well. So issue four is a great saving. But issue um, five is going to be brilliant because it's a unique model. And issue six, you're going to save big as well on these Primaris aggressors. And you get another pot of paint. So some really great value so far from issues one through six. I think it's been excellent. But let's take a look at the models now so i'll go and build them then you can see them put together then i'll get this game mat here all put out and you can see them on the battlefield with the other models that we've had in the issues building up to issue four so i'll see you back here in a second and here we go here's all the models built now and assembled really quick and easy to put together with that push fit i just trimmed off some of the little pegs a little bit and use some glue as well so they're nice and sealed tightly i think as minute just go these guys are pretty cool um for three of them, for £35, though, I think would be quite expensive, even with that fourth one added in. But for £8.99, I think this is a bargain. And you get the magazine, the paint as well, and the game mat too, which we'll look at in a second. Um, but great models, really happy with these. And the more I build the Necrons, the more I like them. But still, for me, it's the Space Marines. And now we're starting to really get these two armies together. The Space Marines could do with some extra support, though, as we can see the Necrons have got what eight models now all together while after issue four the space marines have got four models but the next two issues issues five and six have got some really great additions and i can't wait to get these open and built here on the channel too here's the game mat that was included and when opened up this is 22 inch by 30 inch so the standard size for warhammer 40,000 and age of sigmar as well and not bad quality for something that's folded up in a magazine like this it's pretty thick card and the details are pretty nice, so nice printing. This side's got the different letters in the circles, but if we flip it over, we can see this side has almost got like a winter theme to it, which I think looks really cool. And I can imagine using this in Age of Sigmar as well. So really happy with this board. I think this side is my favorite. It hasn't got those letters on there, um, which is gonna take away from the design of it. But I'm sure you could cover those up with bits of terrain anyway, if you wanted to, but not bad to include something like this in the magazine. I was really happy with that. There you go, that's everything that's included in the Warhammer 40,000 Imperium Magazine issue 4. And I hope this has given you a good idea of what it's all about. But I'm looking forward to getting 5 and 6 open, so I'll be doing those pretty soon actually. I'm not going to wait a week in between videos for those, because there's some great models in there. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.